So we're going to say here that oxidation reduction or redox reactions deal with the transfer of electrons from one reactant to another. To understand oxidation versus reduction, we just simply say that Leo, the lion, goes grr. So Leo, the lion, goes grr. When we say Leo, Leo stands for lose electrons oxidation. Now think about it. Electrons are negatively charged. I am losing negatively charged electrons. That means that me, as an element, I'm becoming more positive because I'm losing negative things. But what does that really mean, becoming more positive? When we say you're becoming more positive, that means that your oxidation number is becoming more positive. So your oxidation number increases as a result. If we take a look here, we see that sodium, here in its, it's in its natural state, it has no charge, its oxidation number would therefore be zero. Then all of a sudden, it, it loses an electron and it becomes plus one. Here, its oxidation number is equal to its charge, so it becomes plus one. We're gonna say that sodium, solid, goes from being zero to plus one. Its oxidation number increased. Therefore, sodium solid has been oxidized. Remember, when we're saying something has been oxidized or reduced, that's strictly referring to the reactant. We're, not look we're only looking at the product to see how the oxidation number has changed. But what's been oxidized or reduced is the reactant. And notice here that when we're talking about oxidation, in an oxidation reaction, the electron will be a product. Now lastly, if we're saying that something's been oxidized, that means that it is the reducing agent. I know this is a little bit confusing, but just remember, whatever you are, your agent is the opposite of that. So something that has been oxidized represents the reducing agent. Now if we take a look at GER, GER is gain electrons means reduction. Now you're gaining negative electrons. If you're gaining something negative, you as an element will become more negative over time. So the element becomes more negative. Now, what does that mean? If you're becoming more negative, that means that your oxidation number is becoming more negative. That means your oxidation number is decreasing. If we take a look here, we have basically fluorine gas. It's in its neutral state with no charge, so its oxidation number is zero. Now, as a product, we see that each fluorine has gained a negative one charge. So each individual fluorine is negative one. Here, though, we have two fluorines here. So that's why I had to balance out by putting two fluorines here. Each fluorine gained an electron. And notice here that if we're talking about reduction, your electrons are reactants. Okay, so reactants, reduction, R with R. So remember, electrons as reactants equals reduction. R goes with R. Now, finally, if you've been reduced, again, your agent will be the opposite. If you've been reduced, that means that you are the oxidizing agent. And again, if we're talking about something being reduced or oxidized, it's referring to the reactant. We only look at the product to see how the oxidation number has changed. Has it increased or decreased? That tells me if the reactant has been oxidized or reduced. So just remember, to differentiate between oxidation and reduction, just remember Leo versus Gurr.